Yeah. So in this question, we're told that a shop owner has established over a long period of time that 12% of the people who buy crisps from the shop prefer to buy ready salted crisps. On a certain day, 65 customers come in and buy crisps. So from reading there, I know there's a fixed number of trials, 65, those are the customers on this day. And I know the probability that they successfully choose ready salted crisps is 0 0.12. So that sounds like a binomial distribution. We're then told to use a suitable approximation, definitely starting with a binomial distribution. We're asked to find the probability that more than nine of these 65 customers bought crisps of the ready salted variety. Okay, so it's just a binomial approximation to the normal distribution. So we'll do all of the standard things we'll do. Let's start with the binomial distribution. So n is 65, p is 0 0.12. The expectation I get from multiplying those, and we get 7.8. The variance is npq. So that's going to be 7.8 multiplied by 0 0.88. And that gives us 6.864. So now that I've got the expectation and the variance, I can write the normal distribution. Remember that we write the variance in square root squared form so that we know the standard deviation that we're going to use. The question asks us to find the probability that more than 9. So in the binomial distribution, x is greater than 9. But we've got to be careful about the continuity correction as we change this to the continuous normal distribution. So the continuity correction, y is going to be greater than 9.5. So we wanted to make sure we didn't include 9, which means we'll start from 9.5 and go above. So in our calculators, this is going to be an NCD calculation. The minimum value we're interested in is 9.5. We'll go up to a massively large number, 10,000. The standard deviation is the square root of 6.864 and the mean is 7.8. In our calculators, we get 0 0.2582.